evenings of the 12th and 13th of August, you can see shooting stars. Now these shooting stars are associated with a comet called Swift Tuttle. Now Swift Tuttle, being a comet, orbits the sun like the planets, but its orbit is elliptical. In other words, it's not lovely and circular, more or less like the Earth's orbit. But as it gets close to the sun, it starts to sublimate, like boiling. But as the water boils, it drags with it huge amounts of dust. And that dust is left in a rather strange shaped orbit around the sun. The Earth's orbit is round by comparison. And the Earth moving at 107,000 kilometers an hour bumps into this dust. And on those evenings, you should be able to look up and see shooting stars. The dust simply can't get out of the way. Now the best thing to do if you want to see shooting stars is to sit in a nice chair, comfortable. You don't need a telescope or binoculars, you just need your eyes. Now this particular meteor shower is called the Perseid meteor shower because it emanates from a part of the sky associated with the constellation of Perseus. You don't actually, actually have to have a look at the constellation of Perseus. It might not have risen by the time you start looking. But of course the meteors will be seen as they pop up over the horizon. And if you just sit comfortably looking at about 45 degrees above the horizon, over the southern horizon, you should be able to see little shooting stars dashing across your field of view, as it were. And they usually will sort of dash from the east to the west, little streaks of light. And if you're very lucky, you should be able to see about 100 of them in about an hour. Now, sometimes we have a moon, but there isn't going to be a moon really of any consequence. A crescent moon will set soon after the sun. So you should be able to see lots of shooting stars this year. It's not always the same. I hope you enjoy it.